Jaya here and welcome to my channel. So for today's activity, I'm going to teach you how to make a marshmallow puffs. For the major ingredient, of course, you need to have the marshmallows. So here in the bag, I'm using the Grand Haribo. And then for my chocolate, you need to prepare your chocolate blocks and make sure that you prepare it already in chunks. So here in the bag, I'm actually using the cacao ivory. But in the Philippines, I'm using burials. So burials is actually my favorite. Right. So again, you need to have the spatula and the wireless and stainless bowl, of course. And then any sprinkles that you like. But for me, I don't really like to put more sprinkles because the marshmallow is already sweet, the chocolate is already sweet, plus the sprinkles. But if you're going to cover it everything with sprinkles, then either you can have any straw, so you can use a tetra straw or paper straw or plastic straw, then some barbecue skewers, and then you can also put it on a paper cup liner. And then, of course, later on, we're going to put ribbons on it, and of course, this is a very important, guys, especially if you want to make it as a business. So, you need to have this clear paper, and I'm sorry, clear plastic. And then we will be needing this parchment paper and, of course, um, styrofoam. Okay guys, so for melting your chocolate, there are actually two ways. It's either you can put it on a microwave or we can do the traditional method, which is a double boiling method. For putting the water sa casserole, it should be only like this, this level. So maybe like around 3 4 Then you cannot put your stainless bowl. So for your stainless bowl, make sure that it is not wet. Alright, so at this moment, I already put the milk chocolate blocks. So just to share with you guys, um, I started this business in Philippines when I was still in my, in my college years. Then during that time, I only have 500 pesos with me. So I told myself, I need to do something with this 500 pesos. And then I suddenly come up with an idea, oh, marshmallow pops. Then maybe just to give it a little twist so i need to customize it so normally i put letters on it so i normally ask my customers or my clients now what is the theme of the party what is your color theme or any uh, do you have any messages that you want to put in the marshmallow so, and I, to make it more special i also add some ribbons on it so now it's starting to melt So as you can see right now, the texture is very smooth and creamy. So we are now ready to coat our marshmallows using this milk chocolate first. So later on, we can do the white chocolate. Alright, so now let's transfer the chocolate into the small bowl. Okay, so now let's begin. We can use this paper straw, so but then this is too long, so you can also cut it. Like slanting.
So I'll leave this plain so later on uh, we can put some drips on it. So as of now, ito na. Chilling. So I got this more to inspire it. Then later on we're going to do the white one. And by the way, in case if I missed to share, we can also put some coloring sa white chocolate natin. Yay! Almost done! So we can now put our leftover chocolate inside the ziplock. If you don't have a piping bag, so it is okay, and you can make use of the ziplock. It becomes hard and nah, so you can dip it in the hot water for a while. Yeah, so guys, please consider liking this video and subscribe to my channel. And next time, let's continue to talk about love, life, and adventure. <laughs>